Northeast ADA logo spins onto the screen. Video of the Northeast ADA Center building, followed by exterior and interior shots of Planned Parenthood's Ithaca location. The Northeast ADA Center has been working with Planned Parenthood of Greater New York to help the organization develop a comprehensive accessibility plan. Sally Heron is Planned Parenthood's center manager at its Ithaca location. You know, we started the project already compliant with the ADA, um, and we really wanted to focus on how to provide the, the best services, um, how to be a really inclusive reproductive health care provider. Healthcare is such an important issue for people with disabilities, and the ADA impacts health care and people's rights to access their health care. That's Joe Zeski, the Northeast ADA Center's program manager. He and training specialist Jeffrey Tamburo consistently met with Sally and her team at Planned Parenthood as part of a customized service agreement at no cost. One of the biggest pieces that we've gotten out of it was a staff training for our patient services staff, um, learning how to um, better meet the needs of people with disabilities and just to be really inclusive and intentional at our center. Um, we've also done training in accessible events, um, accessible social media and outreach. Northeast ADA training specialist Jeffrey Tamburo. We worked on uh, their reasonable accommodation policy that we helped them set up. We worked with them to include disability as a as part of their diversity statement. One of the biggest things that changed is that now when someone contacts Planned Parenthood to schedule an appointment, every single time when someone calls, the scheduler will ask them if they need a reasonable accommodation for that appointment. Video of Joe, Sally, and Jeffrey presenting at the Mid-Atlantic ADA Conference. Joe, Jeffrey, and Sally talked about their experience working together and lessons learned at the Mid-Atlantic ADA Conference in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in late 2019. Potential barriers in healthcare aren't just physical, they can also involve communication, such as if someone is deaf or has a learning disability. Some disabilities can be seen, but the majority cannot be. The one thing that I would really encourage people to teach in their staff and in their organizations is to have a culture, an atmosphere of being respectful to all people and respecting individuals' uh, requests for perhaps for accommodations or perhaps who may need things done in a different way. I think it's just been a really good opportunity to learn about experiencing the world in ways that I don't have access to um, and being able to kind of think more about other people's perspectives and experiences and it's been really incredible. I'm really thankful for this opportunity. To connect with the Northeast ADA Center and to learn more about customized service agreements, log on to northeastada.org.